spoke to the fig tree eleven, and he cursed it from, and walked off. After he left Jerusalem, Peter asked, "Man, Lord, the tree that you cursed has withered away." And he said, "Have the God kind of faith in the Greek, emphasizing that faith in God when you speak has effects." on the natural world. Now I know there's other parallels with the fig tree in Israel, but I don't want to get into that right now. But I did an experiment that Dr. E. Moto uh, popularized, but Jesus has done this first, speaking to the fig tree and also the sycamore tree. I have some rice here, boiled it up, same batch, put it in these boxes, wrote love on one side and hate on the other side, and spoke very few words of love to this one and hate to this one, more like flipped it off. So, uh, and that's really all I did. I really didn't do too much. Kind of just let it sit there. And uh, these are the results. Here's love. See that? You can see it has a little bit of stuff in there. Mind you, I had, there was a lot of moisture I kept in there when I took put the lead on there. So there's going to be some kind of natural decay. But the, look at the hate one, though. Look at the hate. Look at all the fur on it. See that? Very, very, very gross. So take it for what it's worth. There is an effect of words. The words that you believe and what you say, it does affect the natural surroundings, just like Jesus said. So if taken to the camp, imagine... You know, where it says here in Ephesians, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Imagine using those same words to worship the Lord over and over again, saying you love him, love him. Imagine how that affects your body and your physical surroundings and just loving on him. That's why it says speaking to yourselves, okay, spiritual songs, because I mean, the Lord, he really don't need your praise. It's more really to get yourself in gear. And for you to absorb the love emanating from him and what the words you say. So I remember doing that like three hours a day one time. Just hours of just saying I love you, Lord, over and over again. And I did it every morning for about three hours for 30 days. And pains inside me or some things in my knees started to leave. I mean, they were gone. Man. So anyways, if you learn to focus your words positively and... Judging by this, it does affect reality. All right. So, anyways, think on those things. God bless.